Hi, I'm Adam Nickel. And I'm David. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> take two, take oh. two. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did pause, but nobody, nobody stepped in. Let's pick an order. Me I'm first, <laughs> David next, and then Dad last. Okay, okay let's do that. You are listening to Gunslinger's Shadow, an outlaw history podcast about the most prolific Wild West outlaw you've never heard of, Bill Long. Hi, I'm Adam Nickel, and I'm Ross Nickel, and I'm David Nickel, and uh, we're building the. Uh, Gunslinger's Shadow Project. This includes the YouTube channel, and it also includes a podcast that will soon be released. Um, this is about the most prolific outlaw in Wild West history that you've never heard of. This is Bill Long, our ancestor. Yeah, by now you're probably very curious about what all of these stories are about. And it's about, I think, the most interesting man in the Wild West. So, my question is, is why me? Why did I get this information? What separates me from anybody else that wants to tell this story? And when I first started, I had no idea. William Henry Long, the outlaw, <clears throat> came into our lives because my great-grandmother, Luzerna, was married to Silas Morell, and he broke his back in 1891 at a sawmill, and then he died in 1893, and then Bill Long came into our lives and married her, and then they continued to have two more children which is Viola and Vindy. My grandma was born in 1901. Viola was the oldest. She was born in 1897 or 8. And Vindy was born in 1901 or 2. And they were born all in the same neighborhood here in Wayne County, <clears throat> in Fremont. And so there was two households, but they were the same age girls. They were basically sisters that was raised together. And so my grandma was right there as a very young person when Bill Long was here in Fremont doing his outlaw stuff. So Bill Long covered up who he was. He didn't tell the truth to anybody. He was very good at making a complete identification cover-up. But what he didn't realize is that there was these little girls running around that was listening to what he would say. And so my grandma was hearing these things and of course they were very impactful to her because it was really crazy stories and she told these stories her whole life. To me, to my dad, to my everybody that would listen. She loved to talk Bill Long's stories. I would just go down the road a hundred yards. And basically my grandma raised me. I spent most of my life in my grandma's home listening to these Bill Long stories. Well, I put a whole lot of credit to that lady for making me who I am. <laughs> Actually, Dad, that makes a lot of sense because you have Lazerna, your grandmother, who was raised more or less by Bill Long and Lazerna, her grandmother. And then you have you, who was raised by your grandmother. So actually, we're talking about, in essence, Bill Long in the place of a grandfather type figure. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. There's only, there's only two yes. steps. It's your grandma and he, she being raised by Bill Long. And by the way, we need to separate between Luzerna and Luzerna. Yeah. So Luzerna Allred, she married Silas Morell, and then Silas Morell died, like I mentioned, and then she married Bill Long in 1894. And then her granddaughter is Luzerna, my grandma. Yeah, so you might have figured out by now that we are family. Adam and I are <laughs> Ross's <laughs> sons, uh, two of five of his sons. And we've been working on this story with my dad for a number of years, but he's been working on this story ever since he was a child with his grandma. And she's been working on this story since she was a child. <laughs> and since so I she lived in Bill Long's house. <laughs> right. So, and I think you know, when you think of the Wild West, cowboys, Indians, the whole story surrounding outlaws in the Wild West, you think of people that you've seen in the movies like Billy the Kid. A lot of people know who Jesse James is. Fewer people know who the McCarty gang is. Quite a few people know who Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is because of the movie. But what you don't know is that all of these events are influenced by one guy. And that guy happens to be our great-great-grandfather or step-great-great-grandfather in this case, William Henry Long. 
that's 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 the story that we're telling. So when you when you see these stories that we're sharing on YouTube or in the podcast, these aren't made up stories. These aren't fictional. These are our family's stories that made the Wild West. All right. So again, I'm Adam Nickel. I'm a software engineer and I work in the entertainment space at the moment. Um, and I enjoy it a lot. I got involved with this outlaw research, the outlaw history research project with my dad and with David, um, more recently, I'm more of a, almost an audience member in a way I, I do, uh, help out with some of the research, uh, as much as I can. And so for me, I'm here for my own entertainment a lot of the times, <laughs> um, uh, because it is, it is mind blowing the stories that come out of this. When you're sitting there in a podcast episode recording and as you're recording a discovery gets made, or maybe, um, you get a call pretty late at night or whatever, and, and you're discussing things and it comes out that, you know, this new connection just got made right now. That feeling of discovery is, is it's hard to describe what other character in all of wild west history does that. There isn't any, there's, there's not one guy that I know of one, one character at all that I know of that ties together the whole thing from beginning to end, all the way from Porter Rockwell and, and the McCarty brothers and the, and, and Hank Vaughn all the way up to, you know, through the, the Johnson Valley war and the, um, the, the wild bunch and even the end of the wild bunch. Um, and also maybe even the continuation of the wild bunch after, after South America, all of that stuff gets tied together with Bill Long. So uh, I'll introduce myself for just a minute. I am David Nickel, and I have been an Army officer for over a decade. And the expertise that I have as an Army officer uh, is, is in research and digging up very uh, uh, delicate and important details of what's actually happening around the world. So I've taken some of those skills and I've put it right into researching outlaws. Um, that's database management, um, you know, con connecting important elements of stories and data and facts. I've always been inter interested in, in the Wild West and cowboys. So uh, I picked it up and we started doing our own research into DNA, uh, into family history, into newspaper articles and historical facts. And all of this has come together in the last few years to, to, to a story that, that is cohesive and a story that really brings out the character of who Bill Long was and through Bill Long, the character of, of, of the West, the American West. So that's my role um, is not just a researcher, but also, you know, a, a writer and creator for these videos, the podcast, and, and, and maybe sometime down the road, road, even a movie or a show. If you want to know what David does, just imagine like those movies about like, I don't know, those crazy detectives. <laughs> Right, where they're sitting there putting those sticky notes and those newspaper articles, and they're pinning up all over the whole entire room. There's yarn going all over the place, connecting things together. Yeah. David does that in a computer. That's right. <laughs> Dad, what do you what do you see your role in in our project as? You know, that's a good question. I kind of I'm the old man. <laughs> I've got the <laughs> and so uh, we did have I I had the. Uh, the the great opportunity of being able to do the early interviews mm -hmm. and so i was the one that, that got the th i like to make things happen um i if something's kind of stuck i like to try to figure out how to bust that wall down and get past that wall and so in the early days when i wanted to know more about bill long and others was looking but they couldn't find anything I thought, well we got to do more than that and that's why i went down and applied for getting him to dug up a permit to exhume him mm -hmm. and that's why i went and looked and talked to all of these different people you know we found of course ursel knife incredible that's his, his actual granddaughter she was alive as a she remembered bill long uh, I, I interviewed her um, and elva o'neill another granddaughter from biola and so ursel ursel was from vindy and 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 uh, and uh, biola was was the grand was the mother of Elva O'Neill. They're all gone now. Um, so mm -hmm. it's, uh, I, I look at my role as the bigger picture is kind of more of an advisor, more of an information um, specialist to try to keep the story where it really happened was. Well, and you're the star of the show too. 
<laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's not my intention. <laughs> I, I think one of the important roles that dad plays, by the way, um, hmm. dad is a master storyteller. He is uh, a storyteller. So he remembers all these stories that he's gathered over the years. Um, and in the right moment, I mean, we can sit here and ask him to pull all the stories out of his head and tell us, right? The thing is, he's got so many more stories than he's told us yet. <laughs> Um, and in the right moment, one of those stories just pops out of nowhere. And all of a sudden it's like, what? <laughs> Where'd, Where'd that, that come, come from? from? You know, what's interesting is I do not consider myself a storyteller. I just consider myself as a story, as, as a teller of the true stories. Mm. <laughs> There's a difference, you know what I mean? I don't really can, I don't want to be a good storyteller per se, but when I've got an exciting story to tell, oh my goodness, let's make this thing come alive. <laughs> So if you really want to summarize, if, if you really want to summarize our roles here, I guess you could say dad is the archaeologist, David's yeah. the analyst, and uh, I'm the nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All of which are very important to get this thing to work. <laughs> Actually, we're not even creating. We're just telling the story. Yeah, that's right. We're telling the story of the American West, and we're telling the story of Bill Long, and we're very excited to share it with, you know, with the rest of the world. Uh, almost every week we make a new discovery. Uh, so, uh, yeah, reach out if you got anything if that, that could help us figure out exactly what happened um, back then. Anything that can help us make new connections, um, that is, is, that's going to help the project a lot. This project right now is a podcast and a YouTube, vi a YouTube channel. Um, eventually, if we get a good enough response, if we get enough people, um, we also would love to turn this into an actual show, uh, something that uh, would tell the story of the Wild West from the perspective of Bill Long, a guy who was there for the whole of it. We are actively researching this story. Yes, Dad has an enormous amount of stories, but we're finding stuff, just like you said, every week. We don't really know, nobody knows, after we've done our research, exactly who these Western cowboy outlaws were. Uh, we know some of them and some of their locations and some of their actions. But if you have any of the kind of information and if you have family stories about a Western outlaw, if, you, if one of your grandfathers or grandmother's great uncle said, hey, we, you know, we have stories about Butch Cassidy. We have stories about Tom McCarty, whatever it is, Jesse James. Give us, uh, Write us and let us know what they are. And we'll probably uh, include those in this Gunslinger's Shadow story. Yeah, so join us on the Outlaw Trail. <laughs> All, right. All right, thanks guys. Looking Thank forward you. to the next episode. Talk to you later. It's been fun. Bye. Right. We'll see you. <laughs>